Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I'm never going to get used to saying that, but I am back and I'm back much quicker than my six month hiatus between every video. Um, and so I told you I would try, I'm trying. And I even put on a little face for you today and took my braces out <laughs> so that you can see and hear me clearly. Um, and huh, I'm loving this look. Like <laughs> if I'm looking into the camera too much at myself and taking pauses, it's because duh. Anyway, this is what skincare gets you. I've been like glowing and my makeup is like blending more. I was about to say more better, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's blending more effortlessly. And I think it's because of my skincare routine. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch. Um, and what I'm noticing, how dear someone, how dear they, <laughs> I'm sorry, but what I'm noticing is that the the more I'm taking care of my skin, the the less my makeup is sinking in because there's like a barrier and my skin is like, Carisha, please. <laughs> well, anyway, welcome back to my channel. And did y'all know that it's the month of gratitude? I think I mentioned that a little bit in my last video. Um, and naturally I wanted to talk about this because I've been going through a couple of things in my 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 life um that makes me think about the graciousness that I I have to have for the things that I have um the month of graciousness obviously it's coinciding with Thanksgiving you know it's not just about the food the greens the beans the hams the potatoes the, whatever the song says it's not just about that it's actually about giving thanks and not just on that day there are 30 whole days and 365 whole days uh, beyond that that we should really be showing gratitude so it's great that we have a month to really have it themed we can concentrate on it and so I wanted to come and just share the the idea of of showing gratitude for the things that we have so I don't know about you but I'm a complainer <laughs> like I find a lot of things to complain about I can like be I, I think it was Kevin Hart who did a stand-up and he was like somebody come here look at this cat eating out the bowl okay it's not that funny when I say it but like I can find anything there, here, everywhere to find, you know, how to make it better. And in doing so, I complain about it. And I'm admitting that so that none of my family members have to call me out on it. Um, but on the flip side, I'm really using these 30 days to not complain about anything um which is going to be difficult and we're on day five right now and trust me i've complained about some things um but having more effort and to be thankful and and say that out loud i'm actually home with my son and and i'm thankful <laughs> i'm thankful for it because i got the day off because he has a day off it's election day and usually i would want a day to myself um because who gets those huh Wh which mom is getting those none um but i'm thankful that we got this day because we really got to talk he's five i mean it's not like i'm having conversations with oprah over here but we are having a conversation on his level um and we also got to practice his sight words so knowing that i'm having that time that I don't usually have. Usually my day consists of from Monday, yesterday, I woke up, my alarm to go to the gym came on, but I, I stayed in bed. <laughs> I woke up, I got breakfast together, I got myself together, I went to work, left to go into the city to go to school. Um, I'm getting a certificate to become a family therapist. Um, left school to go do a home visit school so just imagine school is from five to eight i went to these people's house at like 9 20 and <laughs> i had to get the job done 
um, finally came home and my husband cleaned up, but you know, I, I had to check, I had to check around. Um, and then got into the bed with this sick child. Um, but today we have the whole day and that's what I'm gracious for. Um, that's what I'm thankful for, um, that we got the whole day. We studied, he got a show, he got a snack, he got lunch. We're about to study again because these sight words are like killing us. But it's like those little things, finding the smallest of things to really see the greatness in. Um, another thing is, is just having a job. <laughs> You know, like we all want to be an entrepreneur, like who don't want to quit their job and, and sell some bundles? Like if it's that easy <laughs> as it looks, then count, it's like sign me up. Like what, what I got to do? Like put in a $500 investment to charge you guys $500 for some bundle deals. Um, no shade to the bundle dealers. I, I, I can't afford what you guys got going on. So I know you have some money. But, um, you know, just having a job to to go to is something that a lot of people don't have. I, I, I hear it every day. Um, I, I work in social work. So, you know, thankfully there are lots of jobs because who's, you know, when is child welfare going to go out of business or when is community organization going to go out of business? Like, you know, we need that for the mental health and the greater good and quality of life of, of our world. So I picked right, I could have been an engineer, now that I th but see that, there goes the complaining that I was talking about. There goes the complaining. But just having a job is, is something that I'm gr grateful for because not only does it pay my bills, it affords me a a fun life you know i bought this ring light y'all see this ring light glowing i bought this ring light because i got some extra money from my job you know um i'm going on a trip like there are certain things that people just don't have access to they don't have the affordability to to gain the things that i gain and not on a um, you know, like I'm boasting or anything, but I'm just showing that I'm very gracious. Um, and I think that aside from listing more examples, the whole point of, of thinking about the things that you are grateful for really goes into self care. Hmm. Like the lights go up, right? Because everybody is talking self-care. Everybody is self Oh, I'm getting my nails done. Self-care. Oh, I'm sleeping. Self-care. Oh, I'm watching Netflix. Self-care. Like, okay, we get it. It's self-care. But, you know, we don't all have the luxuries to indulge in self-care. It really takes an effort. You know, if you're with a child who is not school age like mine, and you and your child are home all day together like home all day together 24 7 five seven days a week well that's redundant but you get it like that's how passionate i am about it like i can't even imagine um when do you get self-care you know like when when is that happening i can't think of you getting self-care because your kid is with you all the time so say that you do get some respite at some point somebody comes and relieves you your self-care might just be cleaning the house while playing alexa you know while playing uh oh she's about to talk and say she doesn't understand me because i said her name <laughs> um but you know like those five minutes those two hours they really mean something you know to actually just sit down and have some peace and you have to be grateful for that even you know um and i think that listing the things that you are grateful for actually is giving yourself that self-care that we talk about when we're like posting that our nails are done and trust me these nubs 
they don't get that <laughs> so what does my self-care look like it literally might look like me writing a list of the things that I have that I'm grateful for the things that I have that I'm working hard for the goals you know it you even have to be grateful to have goals like do you really understand what that means like some people cannot make a list of goals because they might be so unattainable for them that making that list might be the opposite of self-care. It might be like really detrimental mentally. So making that list is something to be grateful for. So I'm going to be making my list and I want you guys to join me in making your own list of things that you are grateful for because... Didn't I say I'm recording? Uh oh. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put him on your list, okay? <laughs> um, but I'm going to be making a list, and I I really invite everybody to make a list for this month, especially to see what things you have, find out where you are lacking. Um, because you might have to also be grateful for that insight. I mean, I can say you should be grateful for everything. I will <laughs> turn it all around into, um, uh, finding gratitude and everything. Uh, oh, a penny. Oh, this dust. <laughs> like, no. But, um, but yes. Uh, and I invite you to do that because I feel that it's a form of self-care and knowing that you have and that in itself is is so much you know that in itself can make you relax that in itself can make you proud that in itself can can really show you how to have a clear mind for the next steps um and if on your list is that you are grateful for having a bomb ass manicurist to get your nails done, I, I should stop doing this because it makes it look worse. Like, ah. But um, then put that on your list. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to give you those short tips and welcome you back. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.